Up We Go has now transformed into Up and Down, capturing the turbulent journey of New Glenn, Blue Origin's most ambitious project. Despite high hopes, this colossal rocket has yet to fly, let alone undergo testing. What's causing the delay? When will it finally launch? While SpaceX rockets break records and achieve unprecedented milestones, New Glenn remains grounded, its future uncertain, and, obviously, collecting dust. Let's delve deeper into this situation and uncover the reasons behind Blue Origin's setbacks on today's episode of Great SpaceX. As 2024 nears its end, after years of preparation, late October brought long-awaited progress. The BE-4 engine, the rocket's centerpiece, was officially installed, and by early November, New Glenn's second stage was mated to its first. Shortly afterward, the payload fairing was stacked, and by November 21st, New Glenn stood tall on launch pad LC-36, marking a major step toward its integrated hot-fire test. This milestone seemed to signify a turning point. However, progress quickly faltered, casting doubt on New Glenn's readiness. After being rolled out to the pad, the rocket underwent no immediate testing. Instead, it was lowered back down on November 26th, only to be restacked the same day. By December 1st, New Glenn was lowered again with no signs of significant activity or testing during this period. More than 10 days passed without any meaningful updates, leaving industry watchers confused and concerned about the rocket's future. These delays and erratic movements suggest underlying issues with either the rocket itself or the launch support systems. If the problem lies with the vehicle, it could stem from the BE-4 engines, hardware inconsistencies, or complications with the fueling system. Alternatively, the launch infrastructure may be at fault, potentially due to problems with fuel handling, connections between the rocket and ground equipment, or safety protocols. Without an official explanation from Blue Origin, speculation abounds, but either scenario underscores a lack of readiness that tarnishes the company's image. The situation has amplified skepticism about Blue Origin's ability to compete in the modern space race. Musk, CEO of SpaceX, hasn't missed the opportunity to highlight the disparity. On November 21st, the same day New Glenn was rolled out to the pad, Musk tweeted, How time flies, alongside an image of himself and Jeff Bezos from a meeting two decades ago. Musk's caption referenced advice he had given Bezos at the time, which he claimed had been ignored. Criticism of Blue Origin's work ethic isn't new. In 2018, Jason Davis, a former Blue Origin official, remarked, Blue is kind of lazy compared to SpaceX. Today, that sentiment resonates even more as SpaceX continues to achieve significant milestones. In the last quarter alone, SpaceX completed two Starship missions, underscoring its dominance while New Glenn remains grounded. The delays surrounding New Glenn are particularly troubling because of the stakes involved. Several high-profile missions depend on its success, and any further setbacks could have far-reaching consequences. For example, Blue Origin is slated to launch Escapade, NASA's Mars spacecraft, and the company's proprietary Blue Ring mission. Originally planned for 2024, both have now been delayed, with Escapade pushed to early 2025. The time-sensitive nature of the Escapade mission, due to the limited launch window to Mars every 26 months, makes these delays even more critical. Additionally, Blue Origin faces mounting pressure from the FAA. According to journalist Christian Davenport, New Glenn has yet to secure an FAA launch license, a process that typically requires rigorous testing and significant lead time. Considering the FAA's strict approach illustrated by their handling of SpaceX's Starship, it seems unlikely that New Glenn will obtain certification in the near term. Even if Blue Origin completes all necessary tests soon, the timeline for licensing and scheduling a launch could easily slip into mid-2025. The consequences of these delays ripple beyond New Glenn's inaugural mission. Blue Origin was awarded contracts for significant projects, including Amazon's Kuiper Satellite Program and the USSF's National Security Space Launch Phase 3 initiative. Both programs come with high stakes. For instance, the Kuiper Satellite missions are critical to Amazon's plans to compete with SpaceX's Starlink and any backlog would reflect poorly on both Blue Origin and Jeff Bezos, who also founded Amazon. Similarly, the NSSL program involves government and military launches, where reliability and timelines are paramount. 
Delays here could damage Blue Origin's credibility with government partners. The most pressing challenge, however, lies in New Glenn's role in NASA's Artemis program. As part of Artemis V, New Glenn is expected to launch a crew mission to the moon following SpaceX's scheduled missions in 2026 and 2028. With international competitors like China ramping up their lunar ambitions, failure is not an option. Yet with its current pace, Blue Origin risks falling further behind, potentially jeopardizing its involvement in these landmark missions. Looking ahead, Blue Origin must not only complete New Glenn's first flight, but also demonstrate reliability and scalability to handle the ambitious tasks it has committed to. This includes missions tied to the Artemis program, Kuiper satellites, and the NSSL initiative, all of which require a consistent cadence of launches. Failure to deliver could lead to Blue Origin being sidelined in favor of more reliable providers like SpaceX or ULA. For Blue Origin, 2024 was meant to be a breakthrough year with multiple New Glenn launches. Instead, the year is ending with mounting doubts about whether the rocket will ever leave the ground. If Blue Origin cannot resolve its challenges quickly, it risks irreparable damage to its reputation and partnerships. So the big question remains, will New Glenn finally fly or will it continue to collect dust while SpaceX solidifies its dominance? Share your thoughts in the comment section down below. Do you think Blue Origin can turn this around or is it too late? Don't forget to like and subscribe for more updates on the evolving space race. Indeed, New Glenn finds itself inevitably compared to SpaceX's Starship once more. Not long ago, New Glenn seemed to be making promising strides, especially as the FAA's delays on Starship appeared to be leveling the playing field. Some speculated that New Glenn might even launch before Starship, posing a formidable challenge to SpaceX, including myself. Over a month ago, I asked which would launch first, New Glenn's inaugural flight or Starship's Flight 5? As Starship surged ahead, the question shifted to New Glenn versus Flight 6. However, it now seems I overestimated Blue Origin's progress. Despite favorable conditions, Blue Origin's apparent inability to move forward has kept New Glenn grounded while Starship continues to soar. Recently, SpaceX announced that Starship's Flight 7 is scheduled for the 11th of January, the beginning of 2025. Musk also teased plans to attempt a mid-air ship catch as early as Flight 8. Can New Glenn launch before those milestones? Let me know in the comments down below. While New Glenn stagnates, Starship's development pace is accelerating. The rapid turnaround between Flight 5 and 6 is just one example of SpaceX's operational efficiency. With the FAA reportedly considering permitting up to 25 Starship launches next year, 2024 could be even more explosive for SpaceX. The FAA itself may undergo reforms to streamline its licensing procedures, further removing barriers for Starship. If these reforms take effect, SpaceX will likely widen the gap, leaving Blue Origin even further behind. Even then, Blue Origin's struggles extend beyond New Glenn's initial launch. The company faces numerous high-stakes challenges across multiple projects. Recently, NASA assigned both Blue Origin and SpaceX the task of developing cargo versions of their lunar landers for delivering pressurized rovers and habitats to the moon in the early 2030s. For SpaceX, this means adapting Starship. For Blue Origin, it means evolving its Blue Moon lander. NASA has already outlined specific missions for each company. Lisa Watson Morgan, program manager for the Human Landing System at NASA's Marshall Space Flight Center, noted, based on current design and development progress for both crew and cargo landers and the Artemis mission schedules for the crew lander versions, NASA assigned a pressurized rover mission for SpaceX and a lunar habitat delivery for Blue Origin. However, Blue Origin's aspirations face a significant obstacle. New Glenn has yet to reach orbit. Without a proven vehicle, achieving these lofty goals remains uncertain. Beyond the Lunar Lander program, Blue Origin is involved in other critical initiatives. For instance, it is one of the launch providers for Amazon's Kuiper Satellite Constellation. While this contract might seem like a guaranteed win, given Amazon's ties to Jeff Bezos, delays in New Glenn's development could lead to significant backlogs for the Kuiper system. Similarly, Blue Origin was recently selected for Phase 3 of the USSF's National Security Space Launch Program, a prestigious project critical to U.S. government and military operations. Unlike commercial ventures, delays here are unacceptable as evidenced by ULA's ongoing challenges with mission backlogs. 
Most importantly, New Glenn is slated to support Artemis V, a crewed lunar mission scheduled after SpaceX's Artemis 3 and 4 in 2026 and 2028. With China gearing up for its own lunar missions during this time frame, failure is not an option for Blue Origin. Yet the current reality paints a bleak picture. New Glenn shows no tangible signs of being ready to handle these critical responsibilities. If progress does not accelerate, Blue Origin risks losing its place in these key projects, a potential embarrassment that could cause lasting damage to its reputation. In addition to what I said at the beginning, the phrase, so close I can almost taste it, can easily turn into so far I can only dream of it, for Blue Origin and New Glenn. Only time will tell whether they can rise to the challenge or falter before the race even begins. Let's just wait and see what steps Blue Origin takes next to silence the skeptics, or if they concede the game entirely. In any case, folks, that's about it for today's episode. Thank you so much for tuning in, and as always, this has been Kevin from Great SpaceX, along with my chickens, if you could hear them in the background. And until next time, keep looking up.